Is North Korea's nuclear program advancing at an alarming rate? What implications does this have for global peace and security? Today, we delve into the recent developments surrounding North Korea's nuclear program, its sanctions and its evolving relationship with the international community. In the last week of March 2024, two significant events occurred concerning North Korea's sanctions over its nuclear and missile programs. First, on March 26, the United States and South Korea launched the inaugural meeting of the Enhanced Disruption Task Force, or EDTF, aiming to tighten sanction enforcement. The EDTF's purpose is to close the gaps that North Korea has been exploiting to bypass sanctions over its nuclear weapons and missile programs. The main strategy is to target the North Korean economy, forcing it to allocate resources away from weapons production. The task force aims to restrict petroleum and refined petroleum products, identifying and sanctioning companies and individuals assisting North Korea in circumventing sanctions. However, on March 28, Russia vetoed the annual renewal of North Korean sanction monitoring at the United Nations Security Council. This veto effectively nullified the EDTF's efforts, causing further disruptions in the international cooperation to end North Korea's nuclear program and curb proliferation. This veto is another ripple effect of the ongoing war in Ukraine, which has altered the international order. The war has led to additional sanctions against Russia, including significant limits on oil sales, a vital part of Russia's economy. With Western countries reducing their purchases of Russian oil, Russia is seeking new customers, and North Korea is one of them, even at discounted prices, defying sanctions. Moreover, Russia's wartime economy has led it to purchase North Korean artillery shells and missiles. In return, North Korea has been receiving oil and other products from Russia, despite sanctions. Since this agreement, North Korea launched a spy satellite and developed a new solid rocket fuel intermediate range missile, indicating progress in its sanctioned activities. North Korea's military doctrine, traditionally reliant on its vast inventory of artillery, seems to be shifting. With the country shipping large stores of artillery ammunition to Russia and renouncing its policy of no first use of nuclear weapons, North Korea appears to be moving towards a more nuclear-focused defense posture. To summarize, the recent developments have seen a rise in North Korea's nuclear capabilities, a shift in its defense posture, and a complex dance of international relations and sanctions. The question that remains now is, how will the international community respond to these developments? And what does this mean for the future of global peace and security?